Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the Master's Table Virtual Church. And uh, today we're going to be looking at John chapter 14, verse 15 to 21. So in these, uh, I guess what we call them, vlogs, um, you can uh, basically go and read that text for yourself and also look at this video and be uh, saturated and uh, enriched with what God's Word says. So, uh, if we fall into the trap of thinking that God's Spirit is present only in some places and not in others, we diminish God's greatness and we rob ourselves of the gift of God's presence. But in today's reading, we learn why it may be sometimes appear that God's Spirit is absent. John chapter 14, verse 15 through 21. In verse 17, Jesus says that the world isn't looking for the Spirit and doesn't recognize Him. This reveals that when we feel the Spirit's absence, it is not because God has abandoned us, but because we have not known how to look for and recognize God's presence. The challenge that arises from this is this truth is that we need to learn to be people who constantly seek and see the signs of God's presence even in the most unlikely places and situations. But this ability to recognize God's Spirit is not about being a spectator. We don't just see the Spirit. Uh, we are invited to receive the Spirit, to be filled by God's presence and power. This is why Jesus promised the disciples that they would not be left as orphans, but that they would see Him and live in Him. This is true for us today. We also see Jesus and live in him when we learn to abide in the Spirit's presence. And as we live in Christ, so we begin to live as Christ, obeying God's command to love as Jesus did, and revealing Christ to one another and to our world. So, what signs of the Spirit's presence can you see in your life today? Let's practice this word. Here's an application for us. The ability to be aware of God's presence does not come naturally to human beings, as Jesus indicated. It is a skill we learn through constant practice. Spiritual disciplines, and especially the discipline of thanksgiving, teach us to recognize God's presence and activity in our lives, and to respond by receiving God's Spirit and living in God's power. Today, allow your thanksgivings to open your eyes to God's presence. Allow your thanksgivings to open your eyes to God's presence. Let us pray. For your presence, which is always with us, O God, we give you thanks. Let us be aware of your presence each and every day. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Well, that's it for this week. May the Lord bless you. May you seek his presence with thanksgiving as you continue to feast every day from the master's table.